Okay, this is part two in continuation of my life with lupus and, you know, determining the diagnosis. Um, I'm at the point now to where I'm in the hospital and I have optic neuritis in my right eye. And optic neuritis is inflammation of the optic nerve. And so it was because of the inflammation and just like pressure and the squeezing on my optic nerve that I had vision loss. Um, optic neuritis is usually due to an autoimmune disorder and it's a lot more than likely, you know, associated with MS. Um, and that's what they told me when we were going to the hospital that I had MS, multiple sclerosis. And, um, you know, and that the optic neuritis was due to that and they were going to perform plasmapheresis. And plasmapheresis um, is a very evasive procedure. Um, that day when I was put in the hospital, that evening they took me into the heart catheter lab and uh, right here in this vein, artery, I guess an artery, um, they put, uh, they cut it open, I still have the scar, and they put a catheter which went down into the right atrium of my heart. And off of this uh, cath this catheter, I, I believe there was three tubes coming out of there. I, I, it seems like I remember three tubes. Uh, um, and one, the one when they did the plasmapheresis, my blood went out of it and went into the machine. And another one, um, it, the blood was coming back into me and the other one is, I believe, albumin, because they didn't put my plasma back in. They replaced it with albumin. I think it come through the third one. I'm not sure, because it, it, it turned out is very, very, it is a traumatic and life-changing experience. Um, the, that night, uh, you know, they, they put the catheter in place, and then the next day, uh, the blood institute come to do the first plasmapheresis and this is like Monday of the week Tuesday, Monday Tuesday of the week and um, like the plasmapheresis when they take out the blood they separate out the um, plasma and the plasma holds the antibodies and the antibodies is what's attacking you know all my good cells in my body um, and that's why it's an autoimmune disorder. In an autoimmune disorder, um, your my uh, your autoimmune system is overactive, and it's attacking things. And so, like we're trying to get the antibodies out of there to quit attacking my eye or whatever else it's doing at the time, um, you know, to get that under control. And so, the blood institute comes in and they do the first one and. Um, my nurse, the lady that come in to do it, she was very nice, but she also was in a hurry. <laughs> and uh, she told me, you know, they started up the machine and it vibrates. And so like, by the time you're through with this, your body's just kind of like, has, you know, it's used to this vibration and you're, you're vibrating and it's very uncomfortable and, makes you feel very sick and um, she said you know oh we can speed this up to get it over with and I said okay you know let's and it just made it worse but I'm listening to the professional and she has to stand there the whole time while this is happening you know she can't leave the room and um, so I let her speed it up and we got it over with and I thought man you know that was number one and I have nine more because I said I was going to do ten treatments and I thought you know this this is not going to be a fun experience um, and then but to come to find out after you know I was discharged from the hospital and later on when I researched plasmapheresis it says the best way to go about it is slow and easy and so the nurse was not putting my um, wellness before her um, want to get out of there, her desire to get out of there. And it, it, you're supposed to go slow, and that takes away the vibrating sensation. And 
it's easier because of course your blood's going out and it's coming back in so the slower you know the slower the flow the better off you would be um, the plasmapheresis also it's only a temporary thing it doesn't I mean it takes the antibodies the, out of your body temporarily um, it, it's um, just a quick fix to try to get things under control because um, I've thought about doing it you know it's like well you know would it be worth doing this again because I did get my vision back I did get my vision back um, so I, you know I think about it now but my court my doctor says no way um, because there was just you know I had too many complications and the complications were um, extreme and I'll go into that on part three because I've already went I'm trying to keep these short and slow so um, I've spoke I've told what object neuritis is and I've explained what plasma phoresis is and I've had my I'm in the hospital I've had my first treatment and you know and we're going from there I'll see you in part three